and here's another problem, an antiderivative problem. We're told that f prime of x is 4.92x plus 7.27. And we're told to find the equation for f if f of 1.74 is 28.42. And we're told to round our numbers to do decimal places. Now a lot of times in math class, when we're uh, introducing a concept, the numbers are fairly simple because we don't want to get lost with uh, unnecessarily complicated calculations. We just want to focus on the concept. But in the real world, the, the numbers don't always work out to these nice round numbers like 10 or, or 3 or something like that. We, we typically have fractional values or even irrational numbers. And, um, and that's just the way it is. If you're calculating you know, the pressure in a nuclear reactor or the airflow over a wing or something like that, it's not going to necessarily be a nice whole number answer. You end up with um, whatever value you happen to get. So in this problem, we just have some numbers here, and we can uh, s still solve the problem using the same techniques. So we're given f primed, and we want to find a, an equation for f given this particular piece of information. And that particular piece of information will allow us to find the constant of integration. So let's find the general solution first. f of x is going to be, well, this will be 4.92x 4. squared over 2 plus 7.27x plus c. And let's simplify that. That's going to be 2.46x squared plus 7.27x plus c. So that's f. That's our general equation for f. We still don't know what c is. And then we're told that f of 1.74 is 28.42. So that means we're going to get 28.42 if we put in 1.74 for x. So that's going to be 2.46 times 1.74 squared plus 7.27 times 1.74 plus c. And let's work this out. 28.42. If I do the math here, multiply all that out, I get, uh, let's see, you can pull out a calculator and put all of that in. 2.46 times 1.74 squared plus 7.27 times 1.74. That all comes out to 20.10. And then we still have the plus c. So now we've solved for C. C has to be uh, 28.42 minus 2 point, or 20.10. So C comes out to be 8.32. So then you can write your answer. Just put that number in right there. So your answer then is f of x is, or actually let's put it in here in the, the, the simplified version. f of x is 2.46x squared plus 7.27x plus 8.32 and that's the answer.